tuning in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! Oh, wait. Oh, we got the oh, nice. Yeah, neither. What's We're just gonna let it play for a little bit. Oh yeah, you Raina James. Yeah, get it. Girl mm -hmm. got it. Mm -hmm. Girl on point. Like, yeah. When they sing, when Luke and Raina sing together, like Raina's, Connie Britton's got some major stage presence when she's with him, strangely enough, like with this song, but a lot of her songs by herself. I'm mm -hmm. like, come on, Connie. All righty, guys. You. Hey there, we're back. Welcome to another After Buzz show for Nashville. Yeah. It is called You're Looking at Country. And this was a great one. We were very excited yep. for this because it was the big CMA Awards and it did not disappoint. Hey, guys, I'm one of your hosts, JJ Jorgens, and I'm joined here tonight by these lovely ladies. Hi, y'all, Whitney Lane. And I'm Keaton Markey. All right, let's first, before we dive into the stories, let's talk about the fashion tonight because oh, we saw some stop. great fashion. What was your guys' favorite? Raina, by far. I loved it. I loved it. The gold on her skin tone with her hair, it was it. It was everything. I would want to wear Juliet that. Juliet looked stunning. I mean, when when a woman dresses correctly for like a red carpet or a formal event, like and they get a dress that hits it. Like I always think of Natalie Portman's dress for the Oscars when she won for Black Swan. Yeah. That gorgeous kind of purpley plum dress. And I just, gosh, I mean, they whoever dressed Juliet tonight, it was just absolutely stunning. I think they all nailed it. I mean, I agree. I think both of those two ladies look mm -hmm. great. I think, like you said, Raina was glowing. And again, two episodes in a row, the girls were just perky and there what and nice. But Connie, I also are think, they real? yes, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think she's just yeah. She looked good. jealous. I uh, I also think Zoe looked beautiful. Mm, I love the hair, the blue. the blue on her and her skin. It looked great. Yeah, a little pop of color. That mm -hmm. was nice to see. Yeah. Is that she, really Layla? Eh, no, prom hair, prom do people. Oh yeah, Whitney, you you let out your. I, your mm -hmm. I did like Layla's dress though. I didn't like her dress walking the carpet, but I liked her dress when her and Will performed. That kind of like poofy kind of nineteen fifties lace number mm -hmm. almost looked like a nineteen fifties wedding kind dress. Of. And I and I thought their performance was awesome tonight. Yeah. They yeah. were both. They sounded on point, and she she can sing. That girl has a great voice. We were all surprised by that. I mean, she's really. I mean, at the beginning, we didn't really take her that seriously as far right. as. Her, but she's the last couple episodes just nailed it so yeah. how should we break this down because should we go award by award there's performances like if there's we so go much. like the cma after show like we did we break it down by award by song yeah. this is literally the cmas I, I, was, I, I was yelling at the t i mean i mean we all watched together i was just like screaming at the tv like it's literally i felt yeah. like it was like my super bowl for country music i love like it the cmas yeah. are Let's break. Let's throw out some of the other topics first, and then let's break okay. down the CMAs and the whole. Okay, who should we talk about well, first? Well, first of all, two things we have to get out of here. Out. out. First, we want to say a very happy birthday to Whitney because it was her birthday yesterday. Yay! Second, we miss you, Violet, and we know that you stayed home tonight because you didn't want the wrath of us three because <laughs> the real Luke really finally came out wow. tonight. He was he all She was scared, Violet. We know you yeah. were scared. Yeah, because he we'll was absolutely ya. the worst. We knew it was coming. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's okay. Let's first talk about Zoe and Gunner and Micah. How this is influencing I'm their relationship. I'm over it. I'm over it. I'm I, sorry. All I have to say though is, pro I think that uh, Zoe has every right to do what she did. I think I we've all known it's just been a matter of time. But Zoe is not ready to be a mom yet, and Gunner kind of just threw her into mm -hmm. that role. Ugh. And I, I thought that was so mature the way she did it. I thought it was. We've been I've been ragging on Zoe all all season, being like, just communicate, grow up, Zoe, do something right. And she finally did something right. And I, I, I'm so sad that she's so hurt and heartbroken, but I think it was the right decision. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, Mike was kind of the straw that broke the camel's back because they've had those communication issues. But, mm -hmm. like, honestly, dude, like, no, he didn't even... First of all, for her to apologize that he misses his big moment after he yells and blames her when she was 10 yeah. feet... It just really bothers me because she didn't ask for any of this. And she gladly... 
she never complained about it to him besides being like kylie his mom should come get him more yeah. Like, I don't know. It just really turned me off. I'm like, who do you think this girl's supposed to be? I, I totally agree with both of you. I, I think, you know, she's been the one picking him up from school, doing all these things, and yeah. never a real, you know, acknowledgement of all the things she's been doing. And, and I agree. You can, It's like he, he's already ready to fit them, fit him into their lifestyle without having a discussion with her about yeah. it. And I just feel like, yeah, that's not... And what a night, goes. too. It's like, come on, the one night that he actually gets a CMA... Come on, get a babysitter. We really I don't right? know. It's <laughs> just like, but it's like, who's this kid just to walk away and not tell Zoe who he knows? Yeah. So, you know, I don't know. I was just like, oh, okay, really? Like, really, though? Grow I up, agree with Micah, you. grow up. All right, enough of that one. Another one. Uh, let's talk about Teddy and the prostitute. Oh. Gag a mag. Gag a maggot. Teddy, I've really liked you all <laughs> season, Teddy. You've been you've been on my good list. There's been a lot of people on my shit list this season, but you, I've been rooting for you, Teddy. And man, really, he's you number two. Go and yeah. do that. He's number two on the list tonight. I'll tell you that. Oh much. Oh my lord, like stop. Gag, just gag. Ew. It was disgusting. I have to say, like, like, what is wrong with him? You're the mayor. You're the yeah. He makes the worst decisions, though, and yes. we've known this for how long? It's like, come on, dude. He likes the crazy ladies. What about your kids? He's, Think yeah. about your kids. What's, I mean, I, You're I, the mayor! <laughs> In a place where that many people, you don't think they're like somebody is gonna Dumb. catch the mayor sneaking away and or have cameras back a prostitute there, like, yeah. video camera. That's coming out. That's gonna come Just, back to haunt here's him. Here's my thing: <laughs> don't be in a public office or take this kind of life. He chose this. He chose to be mayor. Yet do things like this. Yeah. Because what is it? The risk about it? Because it's nasty. First of all, right? It's nasty. Uh, yeah. And <laughs> what is? Dirty. I mean, yeah. She I, is. I agree too. It's like. Teddy, have a little more like. How about Teddy being with a nice, responsible, respectable woman? You know, like it's just like you're yeah, because he didn't even you, have that with Peggy. Jealous? Yeah. she was still cray cray. Crazy. So it's like, <laughs> where's someone normal? Yeah. <laughs> People be crazy. You know, People be a cray. People be a cray. Hashtag a cray. And there's your after buzz drinking game with us. Every time she says cray cray. <laughs> but for real, I was just like, it, and he like he kept on. He yeah, kept staring and not, trying to get her to talk to him at the buffet line or whatever. I'm just like, what is this? What is it? This risk for him? Like, yeah. what is it? Not getting caught? Re okay, don't get caught with some like respectable woman not a right. prostitute yeah i guess well, okay an escort. she's not an escort <laughs> which is basically a high price call girl aka prostitute it's illegal teddy and you're a mayor yeah. and you have two young daughters grow up that's the grow sad up. part look at your life look at your choice and we've already known what she should already feel guilty because the last time that he was with this woman missed the calls that daphne called him right. however many times that's that's when it's like, whoa, my actions aren't really the best. Yeah, I'm so glad you brought that up because that should have been the point exactly mm -hmm. where he was like, nope, this isn't this isn't the light. This isn't what I should be doing. Maybe like, the fact that the guy who introduced him to the to this woman was Jeff Fordham. Who? Yeah, he wants to be like bros with him. But Just he, forget about him. But he did look good tonight. He always <laughs> looks <JJ>! awful. <laughs> I can't even I can't even get that thought in my mind because he's just so <laughs> the gray suit, the he black shirt, good. the black tie. I mean, come on, right? Y'all are going to make Still, he's Violet the worst. Violet leaves and stops talking all this gaga yeah. about Luke Wheeler and these people are talking about freaking <laughs> Jeff Fordham. Ew. He's on point. He's, I mean, Thank his you, career's Whitney. going down the drain, but he still looks good. Do you know who looks good tonight and who always looks good? My man Deacon. Love you, Deacon. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Let's talk about Jeff real quick and how he we saw him tonight make the play for Zoe, though. Mm -hmm. Which so, good so for sneaky. you. Mm -hmm. I, I want what's best. I want good things for Zoe. Do I, I really especially do. now. Like yeah. I don't know if I do. I mean, I want her to be. I just don't see her. She doesn't command my attention like Juliet Barnes for a solo career for me. So for me to like watch that on, as a storyline, I think yeah. I'm going to be bored with that because it's like Scarlett's done that. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I don't need it. We know she can I, sing, though. Yeah. Yeah, I don't I think, think I need that. Fine, but I don't need that storyline if that's what it's going to be. I kind of agree with you because I um, I like, I would actually rather hear Layla sing some more. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm enjoying her music. But, I mean, this is good. She It's a step up for her after she decided to take off and be the lead singer when Juliet almost passed out or whatever, ran off the stage. But I don't know. And... I'm out. I just... What do you guys feel about her going to um, Scarlet at the end for comfort? The, I, I get it. I mean, who, who else does she have? Who else? Exactly. Who else does she have? I mean, uh, maybe Avery, but 
He's ba busy with the baby mama. He has a baby. Do you want to <laughs> see them friends again, even though she kind of... You know, I think that's what friends know. are. Yeah, it's like even though, especially people like people that you've grown up with, like even if you have a terrible falling out or something like that mm -hmm. happens, like in the end, like you have so much history together, so much better history rather than like positive history rather than negative history that, mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I would root for them and I and I I would go. That's what I would do if I was Zoe and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I, I feel terrible for her. I mean, that's a hard situation that she didn't right. ask for. She just was, you know, in love with this guy, and then all of a sudden he has a son, and she did her best, and she tried to play pretend for as long as she could, and then she, ha she had to go. And at least she didn't go to the point where she cheated on Gunner or did something, like, really dumb. Mm -hmm. Like, she just walked away from it as hard as it was for her. And, again, like, yes, it sucks that she was so mean to Scarlett, but... You know, if anybody's going to take you in and help you get through something like that, Scarlett was hurt by Gunner, too. Like, mm -hmm. it's going to be Scarlett. Yeah, because mm -hmm. of Zoe, though. Here's my right, thing. That's... I I think that once you get past the point of when, when time passes and you're able to forgive, because I think that happens, then you do yeah. remember the positive things. You don't always hold... Because that... I mean, how do you, like, move on with your life if you're going to hold on to that negative energy the whole time? So if she Scarlett can get past that and then being hurt... I think then it's, yeah, she's mm -hmm. going to be there for her because she's a good person and a good friend. There is a lot of history there. I think it'll be good to see girls rooting for girls yeah. and being on each other's side than Gunner being the man that they pass between right. the two. Yeah. I bet you they start writing together. I'm going to write. I, I meant to write mm -hmm. that down for prediction. I still want Gunner and Scarlett to be writing that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> I actually still want them back together. I don't know. I'm not but. that interested in Zoe's music career, I think. I don't know why. I don't know why. Hmm. All right, well, let's move on and talk about um, Juliet this episode. Girl, I Hayden Penetier, she is a rock star. Literally, to be doing these type of long days acting, I know when we talk to, um, oh my God, Glenn, for a little bit, or not, that's not Ed. 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 <laughs> Ed. <laughs> when we talked to Ed, like, you know, he was saying how, you know, she's there for just as long of days as she was before she was pregnant. This girl looks stunning. She every single week gives us amazing performances as Juliet and like really tough stuff that they're giving her yeah. um, and memory lane to go down. I mm -hmm. mean, just as an actress, like she probably just is, I mean, loving having all this juicy material to work with. But Slash not having to act that much because she's also pregnant. Right. Yeah. yeah. So that has to be fun to really be like, oh yeah, I've been peeing a lot because my yeah. bladder's, you know, pushing out my bladder. <laughs> like she probably really is. Yeah, and she's so little. I don't know if you guys. Uh, I I know I emailed you guys this picture, but you guys need need to Google yeah. or go on TMZ. Just Google um, Hayden Panettiere pregnant see bikini photos. Girl she about was just to fall. She was just in, in Hawaii vacationing or something, and somebody snapped some pictures of her. And like Hayden is a tiny. She's a tiny, compact person, and her and her fian husband yeah. fiance, fiance is like a six foot six, six. Mm -hmm. giant. He's what we call and, a big old boy. And he impregnated <laughs> this little tiny little girl you can fit in your pocket and this baby is probably going to come out being the size of Hayden and you can just yeah. see it in her belly I'm yeah. like oh my gosh it's like Bella Swan and Twilight when she was being eaten by the vampire baby like like the, it, it's just her belly is so big and that it just, baby it wants look real. out yeah <laughs> that baby coming like out it's just soon. punching on her belly you know oh, oh my gosh box, boxing in there already I yeah. can't even imagine yeah it just that picture you sent just it just made me hurt I was like oh Poor, <laughs> poor Hayden. I At was least like, she's wow. in a bikini in Hawaii, people. Yeah, she's living it all. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I. She, I don't, I don't know how that large of a thing is going to fit out of that little. I just yeah. Pregnant That's, people scare me, and uh, <laughs> I think it's because I just I worry for them. I'm like so, and yeah. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. But you know, she's like due in December, so right soon. Soon, but I love her and Avery this episode. So yeah, and so in this, this episode we support. meet. Yeah, and we meet his parents, which I really we, loved. His mom. I was like, I would yeah. love her to be my mother-in-law. <laughs> We'd get it on. You know what I mean? But I was like, Carl. Step Carl on back, Carl. What a dick. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you can say that. He was. Okay, yeah. A judgmental, whatever. It, what is it? He's I got that Judgmental, one. unforgiving jackass. Yes. And that made Avery think. Which I love that moment. I thought yeah. that was great. I thought that was very, I love the writing Real of that. Raw. To like, yeah, to really have the dad be like, yeah, and have it build to that point. And it, w it was great because just the expression on it in his face when it hit him. And he's like... Oh. Right, and their biggest fear, both Julia and Avery, are it's, becoming those mm -hmm. parents that they grew up with 
that they don't want to be that. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like yeah. that's their biggest fear. So for them to both kind of talk about that and have something similar. I mean, obviously Julia had a very hard upbringing with a mom on drugs and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. But Avery still had to deal with a dad who wasn't very forgiving or non-judgmental. I actually love this this writing and how they brought this together because I think if if she would have if he would have forgiven forgiven her before and like you know, been like mm-hmm. the, when we had that great moment when he didn't, you know, um, I, I liked it this way because I, I, I liked the, the, the slow build of him coming around and realizing, then realizing that, you know, that, that they are on. Yeah, she may have done, you know, she may have cheated and then but but they're both are very similar and both dealing with the same issues. And I like that how this brought them together to be like a united again goes to show no one's perfect like juliet has told him like i'm learning i'm trying Mm -hmm. to love and be open and vulnerable but like avery you have to work on things too so it's good to see them kind of helping each other out Mm -hmm. and i think it's going to be a great road i mean that's unzipping going down you know (laughs) there was a little something something there they just teased us though Mm -hmm. because we all wanted just a kiss just a little little kiss right there yeah just like so there's more to come. He's just rubbing her. That's love. You saw the emotion. Did you not think that was emotion? It was emotion. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I, compl- I completely agree with you guys about this whole. I just love, I, JJ, as you said, with the writing. I, I love that that moment, that realization for both those characters wasn't even spoken. It was mm-hmm. literally just them both looking in the mirror, if you saw that. Like, they were both looking at themselves in the mirror and at each other in the mirror. And they both had that realization of, oh, my God. We, we have been so fearful of becoming our parents that we're almost becoming our parents, but we don't have to be. Mm-hmm. Like it was yeah. almost them like, re- like giving themselves each permission. Like, no, this isn't who we are. This isn't who we yeah. have to be. And I love that they, they both kind of had a moment where they, they stuck up uh, for themselves mm-hmm. and for, for their, their situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I like the use of flashbacks again. It was nice to see some of those scenes with her mom. And I always like when they do that to give yeah. us a little more inside yeah. yeah i agree i like them and i like again her when she was talking to Raina. like oh, i love yeah. seeing those two together mm-hmm. because they're mm-hmm. becoming friends yeah. now and i like to see that and have you they both have such respect yeah. for each yeah. other like it's not only a friendship now but it's it's they do have respect for each other where it used to not there's love be, there yeah. there is and i like that me too and they're and they, they've left them their walls between each other which mm-hmm. you know that took time it did. Mm-hmm. <laughs> let's be honest mm-hmm. Well, okay. still probably a little bit of wall, but yeah, they, they, it was a great scene yeah. between those two. All right, let's dive into it. The CMA Awards. You want to sure. break it down by Winnie? They're just... Well, we saw single of the year, the first one, mm-hmm. and you see him get a little... Because it all went downhill from yeah. there. Raina James gets it for this time, which she co-wrote with Deacon, whom n- any normal person would say, thanks so much to my co-writer. But, mm-hmm. you know, there's love there still, let's be honest. But regardless, <laughs> it's like, Luke... You jealous? Like, yeah. but and so glad Raina did it. Like, you yeah, know, I'm, she I'm proud of her for yes. And then Deacon just falls in love all over oh. again. But this is the thing, you guys. Like, if you're, in, I, I'm sorry. I th- this is the one time I'll stand behind Luke because if you are there with your fiance and it's that big of a deal, like it's been so much in the public eye. You two are against each other in all these awards. If I won award and I think Raina should have. Any award that you win over your husband, freaking or your fiance, freaking throw, throw, you know, throw, throw a joke in there at least, and th- like, come on, Rain. Like, I, I understand, like, you can still thank all those people, but it's literally, it's like, and I want to thank my husband's new career. It's that quick, but I, I, I think every that single ex- award that gets excessive, though, Miranda doesn't no, thank you. Blake. I'm, here's my thing. I'm sorry. No, I don't think she has to thank him every time to appease him and make him a happy man. And not every not. time, but she didn't thank him till the end, yeah. right? It wasn't until the. I agree with you on that one. Like she said it, nice because things because she didn't know how many she was gonna win. So I think in the first one, yes. the, she should have thanked she Deacon, should've. and at the very end, she w- should also said, you know, thanks to my fiance. Yeah, or, what if you know, she only won that? Or I love you, or what? You know, he just, got she didn't have to thank him. She could have just. Whatever. But the reason he got mad is because she thanked Deacon. I'm sorry. He wrote yeah. it with her. Get over it. You li-. like that's what's so annoying about him. Stop. You're such a jealous, annoying man. Like grow up. And the thing is, he would have been annoyed had she thanked him or not. Yeah, because yeah. It was all her it had to do with it. Was she won. won and he yeah. Didn't. yeah so I, I agree. I agree. I'm just saying, like that part of it, I get. Like, come, eh. Raina, just it, it. I thank you, freaking the man you're you're in love with, the man you're gonna marry. Thank him. That's fine, but I don't necessarily agree completely because. Watch Blake and Miranda. They're these two right now. They don't thank each other every single time. They have their own careers. No, and that's I be love okay. Blake and I hate Luke. 
<laughs> they are uh, not these two right but now. But yeah, but she doesn't thank him and he doesn't thank her every time. Like, you don't have to yeah. because you have your separate careers. He's not the reason you're getting this award. The reason you got this award because you co-wrote this with Deacon and people loved it. But the first, like, award show after they got married or when they were like, because they, that was the award show that they were both boom, 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 winning, winning, winning. They're they still both, doing that. I, well, I know, but the Shoot. first one... When it was all about Blake and Miranda and when they kind of were crowned king and queen, like the new king and queen, because no more faith in uh, Gar- right, yeah, Tim. Tim. Oh, Trisha. Garth. Garth and Trisha. Garth okay. and Tr- I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but they did thank each other a lot because they were so much in the news together. Like they did. I, I can almost remember it perfectly that they did. Well, everything. maybe that's the whole point. She didn't thank him because she's thinking about Deacon yeah. and writing the song with him. And that's what we're supposed to be like. Why didn't you thank him? I don't care about well, Luke, I think so I don't care. I, don't. I, I think she's already a little fired up because prior to this, we see the prenup come out. Oh, yeah. yeah. But is so she fired up? One. Because this girl has emotions like this with him. She doesn't really get, like, hold I on know. to this like she should, in my opinion. I, I agree with you. I think she lets things go. And I even said that when we were watching. I'm like, she's so quick to let things go with him all the time, and she just really she doesn't care holds as much. Deacon to a higher standard a lot on... The oh, forgiveness trail. He was trail. just such an annoyance. But he I, really was tonight. If I was Reyna, why wouldn't you want to have a prenup, Reyna? Like, come on. You've built an empire. You just had your own freaking label. Like, why would you not, when you're in the public eye like that and when you are such a powerful moneymaker person in that industry... Yes, prenups just seem like they come with come I think with it's the territory. Also, all the way, all the ways he does things. You know, mm-hmm. like maybe there's a conversation, like, hey, you know what, uh, you know, I really love you, but maybe we both, you know, uh, but want let's things talk to work business. out. But let's talk, yeah. But let's not talk let me this. pull this out not of like, your yeah. bag. When, I don't know. He's just annoying. Everything about uh, him is annoying. She wins Avon of the Year. She wins <laughs> Entertain. She runs them all, people. Six yeah, for six. But he takes home the award for male vocalist. I love it when that guy's like, well, what if Raina was a man? Would she have yeah. taken this one? Just rub it in there. Stick that knife in and twist it. I agree. I love Pour it, too. Pour the let him, yeah. And then he's going and drinking and... Well, and let's... Talk, yeah. <laughs> so we have said that we think that he's going to hook up with Sadie. And so tonight we saw a little bit... A little the bubbling. Tease. Yep, it's, it's fizzing. Mm-hmm. It's like a glass Building. of champagne. Because, you know... <laughs> and I'm, I'm sorry. I, just no matter how much you've been drinking... It, you say things when you're drunk that you're thinking, you know, right. like, you know, so for him to say the things that he did and say that he got these things because of her, Ooh. I mean, she I'm sorry, got she got them, them yeah. because of him and because they announced it the day her album went, you know, oh, it's just yeah. like, ah, uh, that's just, I don't He's know how, worst. yeah, I don't know how she let that go so fast at the end of the night because those mm-hmm. are very hurtful words that for me would be echoing over and over in my head As every not time somebody says something like that. Being a childish, like, sore loser, it's there's something deep down there mm-hmm. that he's saying. I don't, uh. not to mention she sees him watching Sadie on stage. And walks so, away when she when they make eye yeah. contact. She made that sweet lovey dovey eye smile to him. Yeah, like, and he hey, just baby. still being nice. He's Which like is a fun. child. You're a it's child. It's also like Luke. grow up because you're also on camera. And we right. don't know what happens in real life when you're watching CMAs. You don't know if Miranda and Blake are in a fight or who. You know, you don't know yeah. what goes on in these people's lives. But he is also the male that male vocalist that those cameras are going to all the time because yeah. it's Raina and him. And he's sitting there pouting like a little. Yeah. And remember, I, sorry. Do you remember that year when I think, I don't know if it was, it was Taylor or Carrie won, but they were both up against Faith for like female oh, vocalists yeah. and one of them won and Faith was throwing shade so bad and, and like the camera cut to her and that was like all in the news. But afterwards. did you read the actual story behind it? No. Real quick just to get a little thing because uh. Faith was having fun with the camera guy. He's like, pretend like, you know, do, do this like when you lose or something and they got that on camera and then came, showed that. So oh. like she was joking around with him, but people just assumed she was being like, that she was, because she wrote about it. She's like, people don't know and now I have to watch myself constantly I can't even joke around because people take Uh, it as me being a sore loser with someone who's a great talented vocalist carry one but yeah anyways back to oh that's terrible but yeah well and even that's right for me yeah Yeah. (laughs) and then even when I mean even after he's been an ass the entire night and then she presents the award and he wins even then like he says you know I guess this is the one she couldn't win over me you know one she couldn't win over me like up to the 
the end, he was still also the the one where they win together, and he oh, overshadows yes. and doesn't let her speak, and it's just <laughs> so awful. I'm like, that is where it's like he is a grown man. Right. I'm sorry, love. That is not love. No, I don't care I if he's okay. had drinks. Okay, I know that's not love. I know, it's but not. but again, Raina had already been up there three times. Oh, oh, I am ashamed of you times. right now. I am ashamed. <laughs> It's because you're in Violet seat right That's now. Fine. You're sitting in Violet seat and you're channeling her. That is because that was ridiculous. That is fine if he <laughs> if she's been up there before. But they won this together. Yeah. It's not his his authority. He doesn't get the opportunity. Whatever. I don't know what it, the word is, but he's not allowed to do that. You Violet. share the spotlight. Violet's trying to speak to me. Yeah, I know. Lee, what is happening? I'm right there. That's when he like hugs her and they're like, "We did this together, babe." And like, and blah, you blah, blah, both you speak know. and thank yeah. who you'd like to speak. I agree. This this is not love. It's well, not. I, we, I know it's not love, you guys. I'm just trying to play no, devil's advocate a little bit and with say, him. you know what? Like, I understand. I'm trying to no, he's think counting. about what yeah. it's like being in his shoes. So I get it. What's it like? I get it, Luke. I cannot. We, we just can't tonight because tonight is the night that we he Luke showed, showed his colors. Yes. And we've been waiting Thank for you. it for all season. We all knew and Luke's not yes. a good person. Yeah. Right, but don't. I'm this trying to just just understand where it's coming from, okay? Where's it coming from? Jealousy? Like, grow up, dude. <laughs> I'm sorry. You should be so happy for your wife. Yeah. Or fiance, whatever. Okay. Cannot. Cannot. <laughs> <laughs> but we did New Artists of the Year. Mm -hmm. That's something mm -hmm. we should talk about because both Will and Sadie were up for that one. Sadie yeah. won. And I was glad. Shady Sadie. Mm -hmm. Shady Sadie. It's Hashtag true. Shady I Sadie. I really like that one. It's a good one. True. Yeah. Not yet. Not yet. No, she, Shady, when she took that picture of her well, wedding dress, that's about to come out. She's going to send that well, to she can we send that, but... That's interesting. Yeah, that's I, I think they planted the seed of, oh, she's got the sex. But now she's going to be though. vulnerable. So then she's going to be vulnerable. And then he's going to, Luke's going to just. He's going to. I don't yeah. know that it's her necessarily. At first, she loves Raina so much and she thanks her. I think it's going to be like, oh, Luke, like Luke, he's, you know, like, oh, and I can't do this to Raina. And then it's just going to happen. Because I think she really has loyalty to Raina right now. She signed her to her label, helped her get new artists of the year. She like, should, yeah. I think it, it'll take a little bit of time. But yes, I do think that that's gonna go down i mean but this is this is all i'm gonna say is when when that does go down because obviously it's gonna go public but dang that's gonna make that's gonna ruin luke's career because miss reyna is the queen yeah you like can't now. do that to mm -hmm. miss sweetheart she, it's, like, it's like if jay-z cheated on beyonce yeah, you with done like for. With, with, who, somebody who like with rihanna like oh no you didn't like oh no you didn't like <laughs> yeah the, don't mess yeah. with the queen and don't mess with Right now. Good. People yep. need to have these women's backs. Yeah. But Let's amen. hope that that doesn't happen because we hope that Sadie and they like help each other out. Yeah. I, I love yeah. Raina. Quit hating. Start being friends. I agree. Girl power. Yeah. I mean, and that was what Raina's speech was about when she won yes. um, Vocalist of the Year. Like, Which was great. Her, her Entertainer of the Year was that this is for all the women out there, mm -hmm. all the great singers that keep women on the on country radio. And I mean, that that's such a nod to what is actually currently happening mm -hmm. in country radio. Mm -hmm. And I love when Nashville does that. This whole show was I real think, life. I think that's really what's going to, I think she's going to look back and f reflect on that too, is that, you know, because Luke's totally trying to take her power away from her right now and I think she's going to have the realization that no I built this company I won this without him and I don't you know, want my daughters to, yeah. th to grow up thinking that a guy can act like this to them let's pray yeah these parents seem to get a little help because both of them about to um shoot. not to <laughs> go back but there's just a couple quotes that we have to say from the whole teddy story this line i saw them as where i was looking through um yeah. how about teddy um just put this on my tab yeah it's disgusting <laughs> i can't with him look at your life Not this uh, time. they may actually yeah, fall in love right life. there was that one and then um he says i like to think i know how to please my constituents look at your life look at your choices <laughs> who teddy. is he that's what this was not oh. liking the writing for <sighs> teddy tonight because we did not need to turn him into this guy. No. But then you put good old Deacon on that oh, screen. let's talk about him for a moment. So, hit that let's talk about the... Go ahead. Him and Scarlett say? looked so freaking adorable, like, in the most platonic, like, fa almost father-daughter way, sitting on that uh -huh. couch watch watching the CMAs. I was that just, he wasn't going to watch. Yeah. It was so funny. And I, I loved how they, like, he kind of got pulled more and more in. And, like, Scarlett, like, 
I feel like Scarlett watches the CMAs like us three watch the CMAs. Right. Like, I get my comfy clothes. I either get yeah. a glass of wine or a box of ice cream, and I'm just like, let's box. go. Yeah. Oh, sorry. She's yeah. going box. I got, <laughs> <laughs> nobody else. I, gotta, I don't got to share with anybody else. But. <laughs> <laughs> no, but yeah. I, but the best part was when Raina got Entertainer of the yeah. Year, and he literally was like, <gasps> like, yeah. it was just like this little... I was like, you oh saw God. it like jumped oh up in God. the screen. I was like, you just like I've never seen. I also loved when uh, she says, "Oh, you know, Raina looks beautiful tonight." And he's like, "Yeah, oh. that's what she does, or she does yeah. that, or something like that." That was cute. Oh, it was everything. And then the text, <gasps> yes. "Good job, Ray." Yes. Little nickname, so proud or whatever he said. I'm a, yeah, I'm a, I'm a terrible. No, yeah, literally, that I love. I loved. Oh, it's everything, you guys. I know there's so that cute. relationship <laughs> is everything. I know they've it's had like, their ups and downs, but let's be honest. It's so much better. It's like I want the end because I want to see them together, but then I don't want the end because I don't want the season to be right. over. But I just like, oh, I just, oh, I want to see something with them together again. And I think that like lit the fire under Deacon and Scar. It's like they want to be there next year and they yeah. should be. Scarlett will get back to it. Yeah. So let's talk about them. You know, him saying how she used to be a good performer like that. I, I think, think she's she can, gonna. Yeah, but I don't think it'll back. be as big as it is. But I think she'll build up to where yeah. she is doing some like small acoustic acoustic performances you know things like that she should she's talented i think she'll just keep this writing going though and she'll be getting mm -hmm. something for song of the year like gunner did because yeah. that's pretty cool that was cool will wow. will was upset when he didn't win new artist mm -hmm. but let's talk about them because they make mm -hmm. her sound like such a stupid <sighs> like a stupid a stupid yeah <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah you're, you're making up words now whitney <laughs> a stupid that's how my mom said she's so stupid I'm like, Mom, it's a D. Stupid. <laughs> no, I like to say it myself. I, I, I did like her fighting for herself a little bit where she's like, I passed up Harvard. You know, like, I like that she gets yeah, the little digs in there. Yeah, which they like, they thought that was supposed to be a joke, too. Right, yeah. It's got to be hard know. for her. She's just been in a, I mean, hello, this girl's been through it all with this man. But now, I like yeah. that they're supporting each other. Mm -hmm. Will is a heartthrob, and that's going to change at some point. But then how he kind of comes in, she's like, will you just hold me? And that mm -hmm. was really a, a it was so it was a cute. I mean, they scene. genuinely care about each other now. Like, I really, really do think that. They I need think each other, it's too. It's so yeah. bad that she is constantly looking at what these trolls are saying and creating on the internet. It's like, that's the worst thing you can do. I mean, I mean, we, I, I know even just working at After Buzz, like, it's not as big as what they're dealing with, but we get pe comments sometimes from people who are just mean. Yeah. And it's just like, you just got to ignore that stuff or it's just going to eat you away yeah. and, like, make you feel bad about yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's so stupid that people hide behind their computer screens and, like, just pick right. On people who put themselves out there, so it just it, I do. My heart broke a little bit for Layla right. tonight. Usually, and I'm like, she's a crack. But. It broke for Will for me a little bit too because the comment that he made earlier, like, oh, she's like, oh, are your folks gonna be watching? He's like, no, but they don't, you know. But after this, who cares? It's like he does care. Yeah. There's something there. I kind of like to see what went down in Texas, whatever he did. Mm. Hook him horns. <laughs> horns. But you know, because he's, it's like. They really only have each other yeah. at this point. So they do kind of have to help each and other yeah, out. And yeah, because she got disowned by her parents when she got married that young. Mm hmm Sure, they're both yeah. trying to figure it out. So help each other. That'll be good to see. I yes, would rather see them help each other, like kind of be honest mm -hmm. with the public together rather than them turning against each mm -hmm. other and like her like releasing his stuff. I want to yeah. see them, like I want to see when Will comes out, Layla sticking behind him and being like, you know, this is a man who stood up for me, who's yeah. loved me, yeah. even though he hasn't been able to be himself. Like that's what I want to see for them. But I, I don't know if that's what they're building it. too. Yeah. I, can I agree see with that. you because when they were fighting and she was all nasty and just, you know, kind of controlling him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I really love this turn. Okay, what All else? right, is that it? Yeah, that, I think I so. Think that we, I think that was about it. Mm. Yeah, I think so. I mean, Luke just was the worst. And then even at yeah. home, she's like, oh, honey, blah, blah, blah. And then the text from Deacon, I think, just needs to solidify that for her. Like, he acted a fool tonight. Yeah. And I get it. And, yeah, you can have, like, a couple of those times. But let's be honest. That just was – that did not – do him well mm -hmm. in terms of the way that he came off you know what i mean yeah nobody wants a man like oh, i'll tell you right now no no Ew. none of us mm -mm. Mm -mm. all oh. right on that note let's go ahead and move into some news and gossip i know i only have it well we already said that we already oh, said the yeah. picture. We, I guess we already kind of said it. <laughs> Sorry, I guess we were supposed to check yeah, out the picture. Although the picture there is later. a Christmas album that mm -hmm. the Nashville cast put out, so since it's getting closer, we might as well check that one out one more time. Oh, and we did say, I don't know that we said this earlier, but um, Eric Close did direct this episode tonight. So that was, a, mm -hmm. I think, his first time directing this one. Directing it and, and hooking up with the Nets Corps. Yeah. 
Well, big big night for him. Big night. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, uh, Nashville, we will not be here next week. Uh, mm-hmm. We're taking a week off for Thanksgiving. Everybody should take a week off. Take some time <laughs> off with your family. It's in we'll Turkey. Two weeks, yeah. Right? yeah. Is there what else is going? On? I feel That's... like I saw something else, but maybe it was just all like the the big news about just these pictures came out of Hayden and like yeah. the internet freaking blew up. I mean, it, it wasn't like Kim Kardashian's butt that like broke the internet, but like mm. it, I was a little more shocked by it than than the butt. <laughs> That's all, so much That's all we have. Butt. Any country music stuff though? I, I swear I just saw something. I, I do even... love how they tie in because we saw Joel, Joe. Joe Nichols on the on the episode, so they are bringing all them. But also Trisha Yearwood coming mm-hmm. out to do the Entertainer of the Year because her Prize Fighter hit after hit album dropped this Monday. So it's kind of cool when they pull them in mm-hmm. and like yeah, and they had Carrie and Brad did the open mm-hmm. to the yeah. So that's always fun to see. Yeah, that's about it. Good about the show. All right, so predictions. Dun, dun, dun. Mm. And now your After Buzz TV predictions. <laughs> Hmm. Like, well, the easy one out there is that we do think that Sadie and Luke at some point are going to hook up. You see his him eye on her mm-hmm, at this point because mm-hmm. he needs someone he can like. Th- at this point, Rain and him are on two level of a playing <gasps> field, and he needs someone a little bit yep. easier to manipulate, to control, yep. I think. I agree. I, agree. Um, you- I just have a little news and gossip really quick. There's a song, Love, that the, the sisters put out. You guys need to look it up. I can't. It's called Love, but um, Maddie and um, oh my God, Daphne, Daphne, oh, the Stella the sisters, Stella sisters oh. put out this amazing. It's a beautiful song called Love. It kind of like went a little viral this week, but if you haven't heard it, look it up. It's Aww. awesome. You've heard, listened to it mm-hmm. yet? So good. they're always so great. Good. I just can't wait for I don't when, know what for them to be the next. Yeah, ten more years, maybe less than that. So yeah, I think it'll be funny to like be watching it, and I'll be like, oh. Oh my god, we worked on Nashville and we knew they were going to be winning a war. It's yeah. like, good. yeah, they're totally going okay, to. I'm sorry. Awesome. Okay, what, what's your prediction? prediction? Um, yeah, you wrote one down. Micah will be gone soon. Micah, what's that? Mom I, back or? Um, I think he's going to go live with his grandparents. grandparents. I don't think uh, they're going to keep a kid because yeah. Juliet's going to have a baby. They don't need the multiple children kind of running around set. So they're going to, Micah will be gone soon. Um, but I think it's, I think Zoe's now made this decision to be on her own now. And I think it's going to allow her to be more independent. So I don't think her and Gunnar are ever going to get back together. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think that's done for good. And even Scarlett though will mm-hmm. swoop in and they'll start writing again when all of it happens. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. But I, I think happen. Zoe will, I think Zoe's going to sign with Jeff and I think that's going to kind of move her on out. Yeah. I also think the Scarlet getting back with Gunner will make her be able to be out in public again singing mm-hmm. because I think having it him help it out. on stage with her, I think mm-hmm. that's then she'll find the the support and courage up there that she needs. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And oh. next week is like a, they're singing Christmas songs Two together. Weeks. And so we see Deacon say that he loves her. Can't He's wait there. for that. Teddy's going to get caught. I mean, those are just the easy ones, you yeah. know. They're not going to make it down the aisle, that kind of stuff. So... I don't know. Yeah, it's we, up in the air right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, which I like. Right. Yep, I like it too. All right. Well, <sighs> I think that's about it for us tonight. We'll be very excited to join you again here in two weeks. Where can everybody follow you guys at? You guys <laughs> can find me on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Keaton Markey, and I won't be here in two weeks, girls. I will <gasps> still be at home, but I might call in with Mama Markey, and we'll give there our oh, feedback. Oh yeah, on, <laughs> love it. Be super Mama. late, but. We'll call in. I'll make her stay awake. <laughs> yes. Y'all can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Southern underscore wit. And happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Yeah. And I'm at JJ Jurgens on Twitter and Jurgens JJ on Instagram. Thank you guys so much. We will see you in a couple weeks. Yay. Happy birthday, Whitney. Yay. Yay. <laughs> From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz y'all later! The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.